This is the house that camera I built. Time to get started. Hey movie clubbers. I recently came to realization based on a couple conversations I've had with a couple of you. And the question came up again why we have monikers through the source fit clubs. And it doesn't make any sense. I've always had an issue with it, but I never shout it out because of it in the past. And I'm hoping this urgency in me is sort of a reawakening to old me because I believe in speaking up when you have something to say, you have an improvement you want to offer, or you just generally want to better things. Because I stand to gain very little from this, if anything. In fact, it really feels like I'm losing everything now. The point is, is that they're wrong. They being DeFranco Inc. and Source Fed Nerd are wrong for changing your name, essentially. Who you are to the internet. They're presenting you as a rebrand that you didn't request. It's not even just you, your content, or your channel. It's your face. Because that's what ends up on those videos above those names most of the time. And it's it's unnecessary effort on their part. It's better all around, it would seem, to just use our channel names like they do when they read comments. Very similar to how other channels will read comments or show comments, and it shows your name and your comment or when they read off table talk questions. They read your Twitter handle. So why would they be so against saying who you are and giving you proper credit? Now, what blows my mind is that some of you are actually resistant to the idea of doing this. I don't know if you're just scared that you're never gonna be put in a video if you join in on this, or you're just white knighting source fed, really no reason other than you like them better than me, which is understandable, whatever. But credit where credit's due, and it seems like the right thing to go about, and the fact that you would be against something that seems in the best interest of everyone, and morally, right, if not legally, is suspect. It doesn't make any sense, unless you have another agenda besides it. The fact is, is that they're using your videos to better their general likability, whether it's generating comments saying how much they hate you, or making the community feel like they're part of the show. I'm fairly certain Movie Club wouldn't quite exist without the Movie Clubbers. And this is the internet. You have the right to speak up, tell me how much you hate me down in the comments, or speak for it. If you have a legitimate argument for these monikers, I actually want to hear that because no one's come up with that. So far it's really just been like, no I like it how it is, which is fine. That's your perspective. But I think we can make it one step better, less work on the editor's part, and then you guys get due credit for your work. Doesn't seem like a crazy idea. I give crap about I me. Mean, they can put me on a blacklist. It's not why I do this. I don't care about being in their videos. But principle, especially with all the copyright and trademark nonsense in the industries right now, it just seems to fit the pattern that if you create a work and it's your face, you have right of refusal over that content unless you sign away something that says otherwise. I'm all about an open forum discussion. Uh, I don't plan on stopping my efforts anytime soon because I believe in this even if it is a small issue. Yeah, that's it for me. I'm Cameron. If you don't like me, bite me. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels.